Here is your African truth story. Why isn't any African country included in the UN Security Council and why this needs to change? The UN Security Council consists of 15 members. Five are permanent and have all the powers to veto all resolutions. The permanent members include China, Russia, France, the UK, and the US. In addition, there are 10 non-permanent members that are elected for two-year terms by the UN membership in the General Assembly. To be elected as a non-permanent member, a candidate country must receive two-thirds vote in the General Assembly. Countries are divided into regional groups, and by agreement of Samia standing, each group is assigned a specific number of non-permanent seats. The group and the number of non-permanent Security Council seats are assigned as follows. Africa, 3. Asia Pacific, 2. Eastern Europe, 1. Latin America and the Caribbean, 2. Western Europe and others, 2. If there are closely matched rivals for a regional non-permanent seat, it is possible to have a prolonged deadlock in the voting due to the two-thirds requirement. There have been cases of more than 100 votes before a compromise was reached. For a rising generation of African leaders, the idea of serving a two-year term and rotating off does not square with their demand for fair and equal opportunities. What these campaigners and leaders aim to do is rewrite the African narrative in a manner that correctly represents their continent. At the moment, Ghana, Kenya, and Gabon hold an unpermanent seat in the continent. The UN Security Council still functions on a conventional framework which was written back in 1945 before the majority of African countries had gained independence from their colonizers, which is another fault to correct. This gap is all the less bearable because the African continent has dealt with issues threatening peace and security for centuries. Africa even was home to one of the world's first human rights charters, the Manden Charter, launched by the great Sandiata Keita, founder of Mali Empire, long before the English Bill of Rights in 1689 and France Declaration of the Rights of Man and the Citizens in 1789, and perhaps even before the Magna Carta in 1215. The Security Council is especially important to Africa. It is responsible for UN peacekeeping missions, more of which are located in Africa than any other continent. Support for reform of the Security Council is widespread in Africa. Nigeria and South Africa have campaigned for permanent seats on the Council and each advance, advances its candidacy for a permanent African seat. Most Africans who follow the UN also advocate for the abolition of the veto powers by permanent members. Many African leaders who spoke at the recently concluded 77th UN General Assembly so far seem to all want the same thing, a permanent seat at the Security Council table. Africa has waited long enough and will not wait any longer, Ali Bongo Ondimba, Gabon's president said, while Kenya's newly elected president William Ruto made his first appearance at the assembly calling for comprehensive reforms of the Security Council, stating that a just and inclusive world order cannot be spearheaded by a UN Security Council that persistently and unjustly fails at the inclusivity criterion. He added that it was vitally important for this critical institution to reflect the values it is entrusted to protect, defend, and uphold on behalf of humankind. The continent of 54 countries is battling an unfair multilateral system which brought about predominant speeches by at least five African countries from across the continent. The African quest for a permanent seat in the council has gone on for decades. The African Union reached an agreement in Eswatini in 2005 demanding that the council expand to include two permanent members and five seats for Africa. Since then, no concrete step has been taken by the Council or the General Assembly to carry out the Uzluwini Consensus, as it is called. The disparate realities 
created by the imbalance of the multilateral system has grown much sharper since the pandemic struck in early 2020, according to several African leaders. Time has come for the UN Security Council to be reformed, as it is a right of all people that inhabit the planet Earth to be fairly represented. Africa has a right for a permanent representation on the Council as a whole continent cannot be kept out of the UN Security Council by only five member states that monopolize it for their own benefits and personal interests. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.